Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I wanted to chat about some of the lessons that I wish I had learned or known of before I started my corporate journey. Now for some context, I've been working in corporate South Africa for just over eight years now, which feels like a lot when you say it out loud. I've made some mistakes and I've learned a great deal over the last eight years and i know the beginning of the year is a time where people start training programs start graduate programs or start new careers altogether. and so i wanted to be the voice that i wish i had when i started my career in these big organizations so here we are six things that i wish i knew when i started my corporate journey the first thing is who you know is just as important as what you know. Some people go as far as saying who you know is more important than what you know. I personally believe that quality results are still very important. So you need to split your time between getting to know the right people and delivering quality results. So this means that you shouldn't be stuck in just doing the work and delivering quality work and thinking that your work will speak for itself, but also making the time to find out who's important in the organization, find out who are some of the key decision makers in the organization that you work for and spend the time and the effort getting into their right books. And what I can also tell you now is getting into people, especially important people in organizations, right books involves doing work that makes them look good. So it's not not necessarily about okay just make friends um, and you don't have to work but once you've made friends of significant people in the organization you then also need to spend time doing work that makes them look good and that is important to them the second thing is learning the culture of the organization that you're working for each organization has its culture the unspoken rules the tune to which everyone moves now it is not necessarily written everywhere but you can easily observe it when you're looking in you can see how everybody just seems to do this the same thing they all seem to speak the same way they all seem to dress the same way they all seem to even write emails in similar manner learn how the people who've been there for five years are operating especially if you see a future for yourself in that organization i like to say that culture is like a new language right you probably won't always get it right but if you take the time to speak to me in my language i will greatly appreciate it and that leaves an impression so do that learn the language Number three is keeping an open mind. Now, when I started out in audit, I thought I was going to be an audit partner, um, but I also knew I wanted to be in construction of property. And so the plan was that once I'm an audit partner, then I would leave the audit career and go out and be in property development. And if I didn't like it, then I'd always come back. Now, if you know me, you know that's not how it panned out. When you start working, you really need to understand that it really is just the beginning of your career. You need to keep an open mind and you need to try out as many things as as you possibly can now if you know exactly what you want to do by age 21 great for you but for many of us the start of our careers is also the start of self-discovery and you need to allow yourself to go through that journey don't think because now you are in a training program at a bank that's where you are going to be for the rest of your life or because you're doing your audit articles that's now what your career is going to be no Keep an open mind, be committed to the work that you do, but try out different things, especially if you're lucky enough to work in a big organization that has all of these different functions and divisions. See how you can learn as much as you can and absorb it whilst you are in that training or whilst you're starting out in your career. Number four is to make friends. Now I know there are different opinions here. There's people who say your colleagues are not your friends. I don't know. I think when you're working and you're spending so much time, you know, we spend a lot of time at work. I think it's key to actually like the people that you work with, to build relationships with them. So find your trusted group at work, find people that you like working with and make friends with them. And also try to like the people that you work with. It'll make your life so much easier at work. And I mean, if, if it's enjoyable, I think then that translates the quality of the work that you do. You look forward to going to work. You look forward to doing the work that you do. What I also love about organized graduate and trainee programs is that you also get to work with people who are going to be leaders of industries in the future. So making tight friendships with these people is not just going to serve you today, but you're going to have a very strong network in the, in the, in the future. So make friends. Number five is to avoid politics. Guys, corporate politics are real. Um, they're a headache. I don't know why. It also seems though, as humans, we bond over complaining. We bond over things 
like negativity as well so stay as far as you can from people who gossip from people who are just seeming to be negative in a negative space in their careers i don't think they're bad people by the way i think you know people who start relating negatively to the work that they do could just be signaling that they need to be making transitions in their career so that's fine but as you're starting out in your career you can't be around people who feel like they no longer belong where they are. But anyways, that's a video for another day. But as you're starting out, try not to engage in negativity, try to keep away and try to enjoy the work that you're doing. Number six, and this was actually not in my script, but I really also wanna say that corporate is not for everyone. If you try it out and if you go through it and you realize that mm, this is not for me, don't just ignore that signal. There's many other ways to have a successful career and it doesn't always involve corporate. I mean, you can work for a smaller business, you can work for a boutique fund, you can start your own business. So when you get that signal that you may not be the right fit in a corporate organization, it's okay. Um, go through it maybe because you need to be going through a training program, learn as much as you can because corporate does give you a structure that I don't think you can find anywhere else. Working in a corporate does give you that advantage. So learn as much as you can and be open also to changing your mind about what you think your career should look like but at the same time especially if you have never had people before you um, who you could look up to and learn from especially in your family your friends if you feel like you're getting signals that corporate is not for you or may not be for you it's okay there's nothing wrong with you you're just not maybe in the right environment for you Okay, number seven and eight are just bonus points. I'm not going to dwell too much on it. But number seven is don't stop learning. Continue to improve yourself. Continue to improve your skills. Continue to read. Continue to contribute even um, in the professional industry that you have chosen. And number eight is continuously think about your personal brand. Brand yourself. Understand that outside of working for an organization, you are an entire professional and you've got things to contribute to the industry that you're working in. So think about how branding might look like for you brand yourself inside the organization and also look at how you can brand yourself outside of the organization but i think actually personal branding it's something that you should be thinking about along the way but maybe something that you only should focus on later maybe around year three or four of your career in my opinion so that's it for me if you have enjoyed this let me know in the comment section what advice would you have for someone who's starting their career now if you were starting your career today what do you wish you would have known? It doesn't have to be the fanciest of things because uh, to be honest, when you're starting out, you don't need fancy language. You don't need fancy tips. You just need tips to help you start and get in and make the most of the early days, to be quite honest. So let me know what you think. Let me know your comments and, you know, let's keep the conversation going. The one thing about this community, guys, is I want us to be helpful to each other. So I want to know what your advice is to someone who's starting out their career today. Until next time, bye.